Hello friends, I'm Rosa. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are opening the April Fairy Loot box and I am actually like, I'm so, so excited to open this both because I know the book in the box. I actually already have a copy of it, but I am a rep for Fairy Loot for this term. So I'm so, so thankful that they chose me. Honestly, I was walking down the street, got a notification on my phone from Instagram and I was like, wait, what? Cause I saw I was tagged in a Fairy Loot post and I was like, why? So I read it and just started grinning like a mad person on the street. It was a good day. It was a good day. I'm so excited. I am so thankful. So thank you to Fairy Loot for sending me this in turn exchange. In exchange for an honest review. I'm so excited though. These are pretty much my favorite videos. Well, among my favorite videos to do here on the channel. So I think I want to stop dragging it out and let's get started opening this box. Like I said, I know the main book in the box, but I know that there's another book as well that I'm super excited for too. So let's get the show on the road, shall we? Oh, and also if you want to check out Fairy Loot, I will be linking to their website and their Instagram in the description box down below. But time to open, whoa, oh, I caught that. <laughs> time to open her up. Here's the spoiler card that just flew out of the box. Oh, I guess we're not doing that today. Okay. <laughs> Everything is falling out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I am not gonna read the spoiler card, but here is the art for April. I don't know if you can guess the book, you know, that's what the art is based off of. But I will be guessing fiendoms as per usual, because I love to do that. So let's just start out with this item that just rudely fell out. What is this? Wait, what is it? Wait, what is it? Wait, what? I don't... What's going on here? Hello? Is this like a bread box thing? A, a, wait, no, that can't be. Not a bread box. That's not what I meant. A canvas basket? An Addy canvas. Oh, it says Addy. Well, I'm guessing it's inspired by the invisible life of Addy LaRue. But that also makes sense because there's a lot of stars on it. We have, if you have read The Invisible Life of Addy LaRue, she has seven freckles, beauty marks on her face that kind of make up a constellation. So there's a little bit of that right here. And then on the front, it says... What is a person? A person? If not the marks they leave. Oh, what is a person? <laughs> what? What is a person if not the marks they leave behind? V.E. Schwab. So this is, or the art is by Blanca Design. It says, new item alert. This canvas basket features a unique design inspired by the invisible life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. It's perfect for storing books and items. Yeah, I see that. I have a book organizer from another book box. I don't actually use that one. <laughs> It's just like, it's just for display, but I do like having them as display items on my shelves. I don't know if I can put it here because it's probably gonna fall down. That doesn't look safe, not even one bit. <laughs> okay, that'll do, that'll do. That looks fine, yeah. Next up, there is, well, that's a Strange the Dreamer moth pin. See, we're not really getting to guess some fandoms, are we? We have, oh, that is cute. I have not read Strange the Dreamer yet, but here is the moth pin. That's very nice. I love the color combination on this. And I'm so, so, like, I really want to read these. Ooh, there's even some glitter in it, too. It's designed by Jess Hawk. On the spoiler card, it says, Dreamer Pin. The pin features a beautiful moth plucked from the city of Weep, which is inspired by Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I think I'm actually planning on reading that duology here in May. So it's going to be good because I have some other... Strange to Dreamer items and I feel awkward sometimes having items inspired by books that I have not read yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just noticed as I was holding up that that this nail polish right here keeps falling off when I'm in the shower. So just just ignore it. It's just a thing. If it bothers any of you, I apologize. <laughs> I should have fixed it before I started recording. Anyway, we also have heart fairy lights. Heart fairy lights. Are they fairy lights like shaped like hearts? Oh, please tell me that they're battery driven because otherwise, are we really getting fairy lights? Wait, they're so cute. And they are battery driven. Oh, so we have like little, little hearts. I can't turn it on right now, but I love to have these like random ones hanging around the apartment. I have some that are star shaped over my mirror in my bedroom. Maybe I'll try to like swap them out with these ones. I wanna see what they look like when they're on. So they're all like little, little hearts right here. Very cute. The spoiler card says, Heart Fairy Lights by Team Fairy Loot. Add some ambience to your reading space with these fairy lights. They are perfect to hang on your bookshelves or to drape over your bed. I guess I could put them over my bed too, to be honest. 
yeah, they're cute. I'll get some use out of these. I love fairy lights. Like, I don't know if, in case you hadn't noticed, like, there's quite a lot going on in here. <laughs> if you've watched my 24 hour readathon, you'd know maybe that I also have, I think they're starry shaped, star shaped as well, over some paintings, pictures, posters, uh, whatever, <laughs> that I have in my living room too. I just really love fairy lights. Like, I, I really do. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, I'm seeing a tray right here and it looks like it's the Night Circus inspired. I don't know, what gives it away? I wonder, could it possibly be the striped tent? This would be so, okay, it is the Night Circus inspired. This would be so awkward if it turned out not to be. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, obvious. And then it's something else and I'm like, oh, okay. On it, it says, and there are really never endings, happy or otherwise. You can easily get some use out of this for like, I don't know, candles or other stuff, I suppose. Oh gosh, where do I put it? This case right here takes up so much space. I'm gonna put it down here. And on the spoiler card, it says, it's designed by Stella Bookish Heart. No, Stella Bookish Art. Yes. The beautiful tray showcases a dreamy quote from The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Night Circus was actually one of my favorite books that I read last year. It is a beautiful, like a beautiful story. So beautifully written. Like I, yeah, loved it. It was gorgeous. Stunning. So first book, as far as I know, this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. It is an Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. And this is definitely an exclusive cover because I think the original cover, oh, and it also has sprayed edges. I don't know why I just did not notice at all. But I think the original cover has a bit more of like a purple-ish vibe to it, whereas this is definitely green and blue. I do like this color combination. For some reason on the original cover, I never noticed that there are two people up here. Never even saw. <laughs> Anyway, but this has been on my wanted to purchase, wanted to pre-order, and then I found out that Fairy Loot was doing it for this month as well as like an extra book, so I decided not to get it. But on the spoiler card, just a quick little recap. It says, a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet infused with Chinese mythology. That sounds like a cool combination. Your Fairy Loot edition features an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and a digital author signature. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna open it too much because you can see right there. But I don't like to, I don't like to actually open my exclusive uh, <laughs> paper packs. I'm annoying like that, but like they get bent so easily. So I just don't want to, which means that now I can't read it. I didn't think that through, did I? I should have pre-ordered it. Dang it. I did a dumb dumb. <laughs> I'll figure something out. There's always Kindle, right? Yeah. But, all right, we have, I've almost forgot tarot cards. So these are the High Priestess and the Emperor. For some reason, I'm still getting Daughter of the Moon Goddess vibes off of these, right? Like that's not just me. Oh, they are Daughter of the Moon Goddess. They feature Chang'e, I'm guessing that is her, and Li Wei, I'm guessing that is him, but I could be wrong. It might be the other way around. I don't know, that's so awkward. I can't tell. <laughs> I've not read Daughter of the Moon Goddess, so not yet. It's on my to be read list though. And I loved the addition that Fairy Lou did of it. I have it standing on my shelves, it's so gorgeous. These are painted, drawn by RS28. And I believe they actually started over with a new set of tarot cards recently. So they are the celestial tarot cards or something. But just in case you don't know, Fairy Lou does tarot cards every month. So you get two in every box. So eventually you should have a set if you keep being subscribed to them, which I think is cool. It's like an extra thing and they're always stunning and gorgeous and it's so funny to see some of the characters that you know on these tarot cards as well so anyway for the book we have a bookmark we also have an author letter with a painting a drawing why do I keep calling them paintings? It's because it looks like it's paint. I don't know. A drawing right here of our lead girl. If you want to read the author letter, you can pause the video right here. Hopefully it'll focus. I'm going to read it afterwards just because otherwise I'll be sitting here for a while and stuttering through this, but feel free to. Oh, it's not actually. It's typed this time. To you. Well, thank you. And our book of the month is one that I've been so excited for. Okay, okay. I see some blue edges. I think it's sprayed edges this time. Oh, wait, we have our fairy scoop. We'll go through that after scoop. <laughs> Fairy scoop, we'll go through that afterwards. But the book of the month is Blood Cyan. Oh, that's an exclusive cover. It's by Deborah Fillet. She comes with blue spread edges. This time matches our girl here on the cover beautifully and also the spine. So the original cover is definitely a little bit more blue over here, if I recall correctly. They made it slightly like a little bit more pink purple. No, not pink purple, pink peach-ish. It is also signed with stunning endpapers. Wow. 
Wow, okay. And I think that's an actual signature. There should also be, oh, okay. She looks really cute naked. It's the same, oh, wow, that's a lot of color. It's the same, I love that, I don't know, stunning. I actually really like that. I might just keep her like this, I'm not gonna lie. I might just keep her like this, okay. But there's also, inside dust jacket, right? they really, I love these colors together. I don't know, I love these colors. We have some dust jacket art that looks like this. I will let you know the artist in just a second. So I can find my spoiler card. Our featured book of the month is Blood Sign by Deborah Fillet. It is inspired by Yoruba Nigerian. Nigeri Nigerian. I know how to I know how to pronounce words. I got thrown off because I was trying to pronounce the first word like in a in an interesting way and then I just messed it up. <laughs> it's fine. Mythology and follows a girl's journey of magic, injustice, power, and revenge. Ooh, love that. This very loot exclusive edition has an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by is that i johns or l johns i'll write it down below right, right here art wrapped around the hardcover and custom and papers that are signed by the author don't forget to read the author letter and admire the character art by tara dot light on the reverse side happy reading okay she's stunning when they said that they were gonna put like art wrapped around the book i was a little bit nervous but i actually think she looks stunning i don't know why i was nervous because fairy loot always comes through <laughs> i don't know I got a little bit nervous. Totally stupid. <laughs> but I do want to say I have been so insanely excited for this book. So it's been super hyped throughout last year. I've had my eyes on it since like, I think like October or something. Around that time at least. So I'm so, so, so excited. If you want to check it up, check it up. If you want to check it out, <laughs> I would highly recommend checking on some trigger warnings because I do believe that while this is young adult, it's a little bit on the heavier side, but um, it's a revenge story and I do appreciate that. On the back it says, this is what they deserve. They wanted me to be a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. So expecting a little bit of feminist vibes from this too, just like a little bit, like, don't mess with me, you know? So yeah, what is my favorite item? Oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, I'm highly biased because I love Addie. I love the night circus. I love fairy lights. <laughs> I have missed getting pins as well. I will say as for items, usually when they do two boxes, they are a little bit like lower quality, or not necessarily lower quality, but there's fewer of them. Same counts for this one, but I do love them. I'll get used out of all of them. Don't really know what my favorite one is. It might be this or the, or the fairy lights. I don't really know. My voice is messing up right now, but pretty happy with it. Can't wait to read these two books. So yeah, I think that is it for the unboxing. If you want to check out the fairy scoop, there's an interview. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. It also lists everything that was exclusive with this edition. And it also says that next month's theme, so that's May, is Cloak and Dagger, which I'm so Yes, I'm so excited. So anyway, I think that's a pretty good box. I'm happy with it. So let me know what you think though. Remember, I have linked to Fairy Loot in the description box down below if you want to check them out. But thank you again so, so much to them for sending me this box. And I think that is all. So if you want to watch more unboxings or other videos from me, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this unboxing, feel free to hit the thumbs up. But that is all. I'm going to wrap this up now. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.